As you can see here, we have a 2D array, I mean a matrix. As you can see, this is the first row, second row, and third row. And now suppose that we want to apply a function onto each value of this array. So suppose that, for example, that function is something like this. As you can see, this function gets a value. And if the remainder of that value, when we, when we are dividing it by 2 is 0, I mean, if the number is even, it's going to replace the value by the term even. I mean by the string even and otherwise I mean if the number is odd it's going to replace the value by the term odd and in the result this function is going to return the updated value so in order to apply this function onto this array one of the things that you should pay attention is this fact that you cannot apply this function onto these arrays in order to be able to apply this function onto these arrays it should first of all convert this function into a specific format which is called vectorized format so in order to do so i use np dot vectorize because i want to vectorize this function and remember that you shouldn't put the parentheses of these functions it should only pass the name of this function so i'm going to vectorize this function and i'm going to store the results for example in a variable let's say called f vectorize i mean this is the vectorized format of this function so after vectorizing this function it gives me the vectorized format of that function which i want to call it f vectorize but the name is totally arbitrary and after that i want to apply this vectorize function on our array which is called x so that's it and i'm going to restore the result in a variable let's say called y and i want to print the y variable and if i run the code we can see we have applied that function onto each value of this array now i really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now